Hello, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new editing experience coming to the navigation block in a future version of WordPress. Initial feedback from users is that this greatly improves the ability to edit, create and manage menus in the WordPress block editor. So let's dive in and see what contributors have been up to. Before we take a look at the new editing mode though, I'd like to take a step backwards and consider why we might need a new editing experience for the navigation block at all. I think the best way to do that is to give you an illustrative example of the kind of problems contributors have been running into. On this site, I have four navigation menu items. As you can see, as I select between them, the toolbar stays nicely positioned under them. The problem comes, however, when I try to edit the item with submenus. Immediately you can see that the toolbar obstructs the submenus. I have to be extremely accurate with where I place my mouse in order to select the submenu. And when I do, the toolbar for that submenu obstructs the current item, which is obviously quite frustrating. Another item to consider is when you have hover effects on your menu to reveal sub items, this can provide a less than stable editor experience. For example, maybe I want to click here, but I slightly go outside and suddenly I've lost where I was about to edit. It's those kinds of small details that add up and compound to make editing the navigation block in the editor canvas a very frustrating experience. So now we know what some of the problems are with the existing experience, let's take a look at how the new list view editing experience resolves some of those problems. First up, let's take a look at how we access this new editing interface. So I'm going to select my navigation block here, make sure that one is selected, and then I'm going to toggle open the settings sidebar on the right hand side. If I do that, then by default, you should see here under this new tab called list view, a tree based representation of my menu. Now, my menu only has a single item. So I'm only seeing that here, plus the appender. If you have a menu with more items, you will see that entire menu structure represented here. Make sure that you've selected the first list view tab because there are other ones here that have been added for styles and settings. You need to be sure to select the list view tab from the right hand side. Now we know where to access it. Let's take a look at how we can build out a new menu using this interface. So first things first, Let's take a look at how we can add new items to our menu using the new list view interface. You will have noticed that here there is a traditional appender here, and that's the same type of appender that's used in the canvas to add blocks. So if I click on that now, I get to see a list of blocks that I can add to my menu or to the navigation block. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to choose custom link. And I'm going to, just for example purposes, I'm gonna to link to the post hello world. I could also choose to add a custom link exactly as I wish. And then I'm gonna add a couple more items. I'm gonna add another one. And this one will be to um, this link here. And I'm gonna add one more in here. And this time I'm gonna choose a post link and I'm gonna to link to that post there. So now we have four items in our menu. Let's take a look now at how we can edit those items and change some of their properties, including their text and the URL to which they go to. With these items in place, let's take a look at editing them. So if I want this one to change, I'm going to look across for this little pencil icon here and it will say edit post link block. I'm gonna click on that and the right hand sidebar updates to show you the details for that particular item. And you can see in the canvas that item is highlighted and it is the hello world item. Now I'm gonna rename the text label of that to about. And you'll notice in the canvas that is also updating at the same time over here. I'm also going to change the link. Um, this time it's going to be about and that's all fine. So now I'm gonna click this back arrow here to go back to the navigation block. And now we can see in our tree representation that item has now changed to about. Perfect. Let's do the same for these other two. Now this one is a very long text, so I'm gonna change this one to projects 
I'm not gonna change the URL for this because it's only a demo. And the last one we're going to call contact. And again, go back to the navigation block. And as you can see on the canvas and also in the tree view, we now have a representation of our menu and we've been able to edit things about that. Next up, let's take a look at how the new interface solves the problem of submenus. So with the basic structure of our menu in place, let's look at how we can add a submenu using this new interface. I've decided I'm going to add a submenu to the item called projects. To do that, I'm going to look for these three dots menu here. I'm going to click on that and I see a list of options for that menu. I can remove or I can add a submenu item. We're going to add a submenu item. I click on that and immediately you see projects has been converted into a submenu with a single item underneath it. And this is our first item in our submenu. I'm gonna go for hello world again, because this is only a demo. And as we can see now, we have a nested structure. And if we look in the canvas, we can see that there is this drop down indicating there is a submenu in place, but it's much, much easier to access the details about that item in this tree view here, because it is something you can expand and collapse and create multiple nested levels. Now let's add another item to this submenu and then again I go across to here and I say add submenu item and it inserts another one and again this one's going to be to hello world because it's just in a demo but let's say we want to have another level of nesting within this so let's add another submenu here and again it's the same thing this time I need to scroll across to the right a little bit there you saw that scroll bar up here and again click on the three dots menu for the item where we want to nest and we say add submenu the submenu is added, as you can see here, and a new item is inserted. And as you can see now, we have one, two levels of nesting. But this is far easier to edit than it is in the canvas. As we saw earlier, when trying to edit submenus in the canvas, the editing interface can be very unstable, it can be very difficult to use. With this, it's a lot easier. So let's say I want to edit the properties of this nested item. I simply click the edit. I'm going to say changed. I go back and it's changed. I haven't had to do anything difficult in the canvas at all and it's much easier to access. So with that submenu in place, now I'm gonna show you how to remove items from your navigation using this new interface. It's very, very simple. In this case, I've decided I want to remove this nested submenu here. And all I need to do is go across to the three dots menu, click on it and click remove. And I'm going to do that now. And as you can see, that level of nesting is now gone. Similarly, if I want to remove both of these, I can say remove and remove, and we're back to a single level of nesting, um, or no nesting at all, a single flat hierarchy there. And that is how you remove items from your navigation. It makes it a lot easier, especially when you're dealing with submenus. Lastly, in this overview of the navigation block list view editing mode, I want to show you a quick tip for adding different types of blocks to your navigation block and how this is enabled with this new list view. If we look at the existing experience in the canvas, when I click add block here, it immediately inserts a custom link. And we can see that over here. And we can see that custom link block has been inserted, but I don't have any choice of the types of blocks that I insert here, or at least it's very limited. What the list view enables you to do is see the full range of blocks that you can add to your navigation block. So if I click on the inserter in the list view, you see it gives you an option to choose between the different types of blocks. So for example, let's say I want to include the site logo. Well, this is now presented as an option directly here. And if I click on that, then the site logo block is added. And I can also drag and drop my site logo within this list view editing experience. So it helps to be able to move things around. Similarly, I can add a site, I can add a sorry, social icons block, and that will be added as well. And I could move that as well if I wanted to, or to the beginning, whatever I want to do really, but it makes it a lot easier to add these new special types of blocks. And these have always been available in the navigation block, but they've been somewhat obscured by the behavior of the block in the canvas, which just auto inserts a link by default. So that's another benefit of this new list view. So what do you think about this new list view editing experience in the navigation block? Is it an improvement? 
Can you see it helping you? What things are we missing that you didn't see in the video that you'd like to see in this new feature? If you let me know in the comments down below, I'll make sure that any feedback you leave gets back to contributors working on this feature. In fact, I'm one of those contributors, so you can be sure that I'll pick up anything you leave as feedback. Please be sure to leave a comment and I'll look into it. I hope you enjoyed this video about the navigation block list view editing experience. If you did, then I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button. And of course, please consider subscribing to the channel for more content about the WordPress block editor. In a future video, I'm gonna have a full five minute overview video of the upcoming WordPress 6.2 release. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. Until next time, goodbye.